G'day folks. Well today I want to talk about uh, well this is going actually this is going to be a maybe a three four part series or a part video on tips that my or my recommendations um, on rear mounting a car. Now if any of you guys that are interested in it uh, this, these, this little three, four part series is going to be very interesting and it will show you a lot of little tips and tricks to save you a lot of time because I've made a lot of mistakes on this car and I've got it down to pat now because as you guys know that this car gets pushed fairly hard so it's, it's proved itself and now I can honestly talk about it and tell you what I've done and what I've learnt uh, on what works and what doesn't. But I want to talk about the exhaust system because I think this is the most important thing um, when it comes to rear mounting a turbo on the back of your car. It's, it's very critical because it can make and break and you know it can be a complete failure, waste of money and I want to talk about it. So first off um, I've tried a few different things well first off let's talk about mounting the turbo under the back now I had the turbo originally mounted uh, like the exhaust system just rubber mounted and that I found that fine on the street you know just pottering around it wasn't any drama but once depends on what you guys are going to do with your car once you start braking hard cornering uh, it becomes a bit of an issue because the weight of a turbo can vary on size but it can vary from around 10 kilos all the way up to 20 kilos and if you've got that hanging off the back of your of your car uh, it can you know under hard braking it can push forward but you you know and it's and the trouble is when the exhaust system gets hot it becomes weak and it won't hold it it just it ruins everything and that's what happened with me I ended up ruining those header pipes it pushed them down the sheer weight of the turbo under hard acceleration um, hard braking sorry it the turbo just wanted to run forward push forward and it, it distorted them all and it ruined everything. The second thing is guys when you rear mount your car your exhaust system is going to get terribly hot there is just no way around it it gets you think you've got hot ex, um, pipes when you're NA these things are, are incredibly hot I've melted header wrap and apparently it has to be over 1700 degrees to melt header wrap um, and that's how hot things can get with a uh, exhaust system on a rear mount car so what you've, you've got to do you've got to solid mount the turbo there's just no way around it I think it's the best way to go um, and once you've solid mounted it the next thing you've got, you're going to have to address and I'll show you, you need flexibility in your uh, exhaust system. I've touched on this subject in other videos. And what happens is, because of the exhaust system, uh, with the turbo, it gets incredibly hot. Now it's going to grow in length and expand more than it ever will. Uh, this system as it is moves around 30 millimeters now those bellows that I've got there they flex up to 20, mil 20 millimeters each I'll get good flex out of them and they provide enough uh, in con for contraction and expansion right mainly expansion and having the turbo solid mounted I've got no issues now it can move, it can creep, it can do whatever it wants and it's completely flexible there 
the motor can shake, do what it needs to do, then I've got enough um, movement in the flexible bellows. One wasn't enough, I ended up having to put two on it to, uh, to be successful with it. So from that point where the diff, from where it mounts under the diff, I've got it solid mounted through to the turbo and then it's free all the way back and that works really well. Now the next thing is header wrap. Header wrap is good, yes it does bring on early spoolage of the turbo, keeps everything nice and hot, but it comes at a price guys. Now the trouble is um, there's two, two things with a mild steel setup. It, it just destroys your pipes, there's no doubt about it, header wrapping mild steel. Um, they start to flake because of the heat and it, I think it, they decarbonize, or there's some saying, but it destroys your pipes at an accelerated level. It's really not worth it. The next thing is though, and I think is just as important, because it keeps the heat in your pipes, it they get so hot that the actual strength of the exhaust system actually loses, loses its strength. Those header pipes uh, ended up just collapsing to a point where they started to distort and wouldn't hold their sh they wouldn't stay upright or hold their shape. They just kept dropping and dropping all the time. That was through the header wrap. Now what I'm doing with this car is an extreme um, no, it's an extreme uh, what do you call it? Scenario. So, I don't know. I, to be honest, I wouldn't header wrap. Even stainless steel. I, even, I heard stainless can, can get fairly weak once it gets hot. It's prone to cracking. And I don't know if I'd, I'd go down there, guys. I really, I don't know. What I'm doing with this, I'm going to protect the starter motor, things that are vulnerable to heat and shield it to protect um, anything that's near the exhaust system so I don't have an issue. So I think that's that's my advice. Um, yes, if I've got a little beanie on the turbo, I can't see that being a problem. If anything, that's a good thing. Keeps the heat in there and around the in the actual uh, turbine, that's fine. But I think that as far as the rest of the exhaust system, uh, I, I'm not a big fan of it, put it that way. After learning and finding out what it did to my header pipes, uh, it's not worth it. So yeah, that's basically um, the exhaust system. You've really got to have flexibility and solid mount your turbo. I don't think it's a good idea to, to rubber mount it and have it moving around it's it's just not on I think you've really got to allow for uh, some flexible bellows and you can run and I'll make a mention you can run a a, uh, a muffler before the turbo um, this one of mine is it's only it's nothing over the top it's just a oh I think it's a pro flow they call it um, muffler but it is a straight through design uh, it doesn't seem to impede on any uh, restriction I did try it without the muffler it sounded terrible uh, but if I was going up in boost if I was running 15 pound or more I would honestly probably go for a hot dog style or a resonator style muffler just just for more strength because of the the back pressure that's developed in a um, you know in a, in a rear mount a turbo situation because of the pressure to drive the um, turbine so but as far as uh, exotic steel goes I think mild steel is the go and not header wrapped but you've just got to remember the heat that's going to be generated through a rear mount setup is, is incredible it really is so you have to be uh, pay attention to protecting everything that's close to it to make sure that you're not going to burn nothing or uh, catch on fire or anything like that but other than that uh, it's fairly you can use your exhaust system but you need to take some precautions like if that muffler had a 
uh, I think they're like a what do they call it where they run back and they're not a straight through design I don't think that'd be real successful you really want to go for a straight through design so and as far as tailpipe goes you can put whatever you want on it you can put a, a well I've got a four inch stainless pipe on the end and that's the beauty of it guys there's no back pressure out from the turbo so that's my little tips look if you've got any questions guys don't uh, don't be afraid to ask I'm more than happy to answer them to the best of my ability and yeah I think it um, look I think whatever whatever system you've got on your car factory it's gonna work but there'll be a point where if you're after complete performance out of it and high flow depending on your exhaust system you've really got to think high flow like NA if you want the big horsepower out of your um, setup but if you just want to put a few pound in it up to 10 15 pound and not push it too hard uh, I can't see why a standard exhaust system uh, would work in your application now my next vid I'll talk about turbos uh, and the charge pipe so that'll be a little interesting one and what to what my tips are and and to advice and where to put your um, reference line for your wastegate all that sort of caper because that's quite interesting too and another little thing is if you run a before I go you can run a quite successfully uh, the wastegate just back from the turbo a little bit too so I mean it's pretty simple stuff it's not complicated but if you just do a few basic things that I've mentioned earlier in the fit you'll have a successful uh, build alright guys well I'll pop another one up soon catch you later